Alright, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to continue the work on our public API. We're going to use um, yeah, events. More specifically, we're going to use observers to clear our cache um, in an efficient way. We're also going to have a little tweak that I forgot in the previous video. Um, by the way, if you didn't watch it, I'll put the link somewhere here or something like that. Um, you can go watch it. So um, let's dive into it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with a little tweak of the code in that we've done in the previous video. Actually, we're going to um, change the key that we're using right here because uh, if you were noticed this and um, commented it, and he's 100% correct on this one, his name was Rafael Girao. Thank you for commenting. Um, this is something I forgot in the previous video. So uh, we're actually using pagination. So this means that we have in our request um, a page parameter that comes into the request and then we return something based on the um, pagination. But in this example, we're always going to return the same values because we are storing only one page. So first of all, we're going to create a variable page. And this page is going to take the request um, and the get of excuse me, the get of page, and by default, we're going to use one. So if page isn't present, we're going to use one. If uh, the request has page um, two, then we're going to use the value two. And there's going to um, cr edit the key in here. So we're going to use team underscore P and then the, the number of the page. There we go. Now, if we test this out in Postman, um, yeah, for example, I cache this and I go to the next page. Then I have a different team. And now in the telescope, I can see also in the cache that I have yeah a missed um, entry for uh, teams P1. Then it was set and then it got a hit again and so on. And teams P2 is also stored in the cache. So this is something that I forgot in the previous video. So again, Rafael Girao, thank you for commenting. I like that, thank you. All right, so when we head back to the code, um, this is only stored for 60 seconds. So I want to store this for um, an hour, maybe I want to store it for 12 hours, all right. So this is actually going to be stored for 12 hours and after that the cache will be cleared and yeah. The, the teams will be queried again to the database. So, but what if something changes during, yeah, during the, the cached version? So for example, a team has been updated or a team has been created or so, something like that. Um, we could use an event and a listener to trigger a clear crash, but actually this is something that is predefined. So create, update, delete are all predefined things. And Laravel comes with observer for predefined events. So we're going to create an observer which clears the cache whenever something is created or updated. In this example, I'm only going to use um, created. All right, so I'm going to open up a terminal window right here. And I'm going to php artisan make observer. And I'm going to call it uh, team observer. And I'm going to bind the model to it of team. There we go. This has actually created a folder with team observer inside. And yeah, that's it. Now we could use this observer. But first of all, I'm going to, um, whoops. First, I'm going to copy this Illumin facade, uh, Illumin support facade cache. And I'm going to paste it in here um, because we're going to use it. Okay, so we could use a cache uh, forget, for example, forget, and put in here the key that we want to forget. But in this case, we're, we want to forget multiple keys. So, and we're only using um, this amount of, of uh, small keys. So we're going to use flush. And flush actually, yeah, forgets all the keys that are in our cache for this moment. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make the application know that we're using an observer 
on the model team. So inside the app service provider, so in the uh, folder providers, app service provider, in the boot function, we should use um, team observe because it's an observe function that we're going to do. And it's actually a team observer class that needs to be ran. But we still need to um, actually tell this file that it has to use um, yeah, the necessary thing. So app models team, whoops, team. And also I want to use observer, observers, um, team observer. There we go. And hit save. Okay, so if I head back to telescope, I'm going to clear all things out. There we go. Head back over to Postman and I'm going to request and I'm also going to request the other page. And when I'm here, all right, so I didn't click properly. Oh, I just need to click here, load more entry. All right, so this is a quite a good example. I have stored uh, P2 into the cache. I stored P1 into the cache, so page two and page one. And then I have requested page uh, one again, and it was stored into the cache. If we check out the queries, we had um, a pagination for, yeah, limit one, limit one with offset of one and an offset of zero. So if I run this again, again and again, and also this page again and again. No additional queries were ran, but the cache was hit a few times and the requests were feeded a few times. So what if we store a new value into our, yeah, into our application? So we're going to use Tinker for that. PHP artisan Tinker. And actually I have, yeah, of course, I have predefined uh, a statement for that. There we go. So what, it, what did I do? I did team create and then a bunch of data. So I've created a movie star team. It's also a world tour team. The abbreviation is MOV and the bike brand is Canyon. And then I have the um, thumbnail of the bike shirt that you're using uh, as a team. When we head back to telescope, there we go. And we can see, yeah, nothing changed here. But when we are going to refresh, actually um, send a new query, uh, a new request. And in here also a new request and another one. And let's load more events. All right. So then we can see that we have missed page two and page one. This actually means that the cache was cleared and that it had run a new query for that. If we go to check this, here we have it. We have two new query, uh, yeah, three, four new queries, but actually one for page one, one for page two, and that's it. All right, that's it. It's a short one today, but this is how we play around with caching, um, using observers to yeah clear the cache on predefined events, uh, like create, update, delete. Um, we could also create our own custom events and custom listeners for it. But yeah, in this case, we're only using predefined events. So that's why we use observers in that case. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe. It's much appreciated and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.